Hey guys, it's Flutter. Well, we're still out camping, day two. And I wanted to show you our fire. Do you see that right there? That is a piece of copper tubing with a whole bunch of holes drilled that through it. Fire. And um, there is a piece of garden hose inside of that. And that gives you your color in the fire. So you've got blues and greens and I don't know, red. Let's try and show you the blue. I don't know if you'll see it. Oh yeah. Ooh, pretty. Come over here. Oh, you can really see it good over here, sister. And if you use the copper tubing, it'll last longer. <laughs> <laughs> you dork. <laughs> look at though. Look, look. See in there? I know, I got the same thing. Isn't that beautiful, guys? I hope you're having a good day. I f it feels like my phone's about to melt, though. <laughs> it's pretty hot. Got a good fire going. Um, camp all set up. I'll show you that. Hamburgers on the tripod. We had hamburgers on the tripod we set up. And some corn on the cob. So we had that all set up over the fire, and over there's a whole bunch of open campsites and all that stuff. And over on that trail over there, I went stick gathering, so here's what I have left from that. And I'll probably take a little walk over here. Here's the camper and the jeep. You want to be on this? So, they're putting up a new playground for the kids. They got a grant to do it, so that's pretty cool. But, ooh, I wanted to walk over this way and show you the sun. I've just been uh, kind of relaxing, sitting by the fire, listening to some music, hanging with my sister, enjoying the peacefulness out here because all you hear at night out here is the waves crashing at night that's it that's all you hear nothing but waves crashing onto the shore and it's just wonderful but just a short walk across the road you come over to this day use only camp or not you can't camp here it's just day use only and get to witness all of that and the wind so hopefully that's not too terrible on the recording or whatever audio I'll try and zoom ya and there's that very beautiful Lake Superior y'all love it I did go Uperlite looking yesterday and I found I did find some but I wanted to go yesterday just to check it out did I unzoom it? yeah and so tonight I'm going to be going again and I'm going to be recording this time but it might be a little difficult because it seems like the Uper lights are washing up onto the shore when the waves crash and it's very hard to get them. They like go up real fast and then they're like sucked out by the water. So either I'm going down in some shorts and getting in the water which I'm probably going to do or I'm going to hike up some sweatpants and go in the water because I think that's what I need to do. <laughs> so, um, other than that, y'all, just hanging out. Made a beautiful fire. Got a piece of copper tubing in there with that garden hose to make it look beautiful. All those beautiful colors in it. It's just the garden hose that does that color, I believe, but the copper tubing, if you have that, also it makes it last longer so but okay I think that's about it um there's another little place over here that you can walk to and I love this tree this is one of my favorite trees over here it's just very unique and this is just a short walk across the road we have campsite number one and I'd have to say it's the best one if you ask me, but isn't this tree just amazing? Look at this. 
It's like hanging on by a thread, yo. So cool. And then, you have this beautifulness, which you can walk out over here. I'll zoom it real fast, but the wind is gonna mess with you. I just know it, so it's very windy today. But, yeah, and then we're right over there. So not far at all from where we wanna be. So pretty cool. But I suppose I'm gonna get going. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, subscribe, it's free. Smash that notification bell. That'll let you know when I post another video. And hit that thumb, show me you like my video. And um, I'm gonna get going. So flutter out, yo.